any arcade, three beginning at the end. The beginning of the end is a short DLC, it's a standalone, it's the second one released, the first one being an expansion of the first game. Or sorry, of the an expansion of the story present in the third game. This is a standalone story that was created to patch up some plot holes which were present in the third game uh, as a result of the development chain between the second and the third game. So the first and the second games, which were made by Hothead Games, included a player character. Uh, when Spoid Games took over the third game, whether through request by Penny Arcades themselves or through their own personal choice, they decided not to include the player character. They never explained why he wasn't present. So this was made in order to explain why he was not present. Uh, they also, in this, they kind of give more motive or incentive uh, to some actions that Tycho does in the fourth game. Uh, but back to the game itself, it's a 16 minute run. Uh, could be an 8 minute run if some speed tech uh, available in the fourth game was available in this game. Uh, so in the fourth game, you can speed up your battle animations by holding on the B button. It makes them about four times faster. You cannot do that in this game. Uh, however, in this game, you can skip through the beginning cutscene, which you cannot do in the, third, or in the fourth game. So in the fourth game, you have to sit through a minute, 54 and a half seconds before you first input every single time, or in this game, it's a uh, So, there's a speed tech that I've been doing. I don't know if it's called speed tech. There's a trick I've been doing to reduce time in that uh, I choose to kill uh, some enemies based on when their action will take place. So I kill uh, specific enemies uh, before others if the others will have already taken their turn but that target will not uh, to reduce the amount of battle animations that are actually present. Uh, in some cases it just happens the way it does, in other ways I choose my targets very carefully. Uh, so this next fight will be one such reason, or one such scenario, I suppose, uh, besides just killing weaker ones first. Uh, so in this fight here, I'm going to use my hand speaker, which is very powerful, I'll explain a little bit later. But basically the spitbulls will die to two, or sorry, to a single uh, two mana attack and a full auto, which is an AOE attack. So I kill one of them, so I do a 2 mana and a full auto to get rid of one of them, and then I do a ice shards to kill the second one, and then I just focus down the big one. So, Mana Spigot is a very powerful move, it gives, uh, so only Tiger can use it, and every character gains 1 MP every turn, Mana Spigot makes him gain 2. Uh, so, again in this fight, I don't really do it so much here, but I did slightly choose my targets. Uh, so this next fight is uh, a good explanation for the player character's usefulness as a whole. So in the first uh, split, he's not there. In the first half of the second split, uh, he's pretty useless. Specifically in this fight, uh, he has no magical attacks and he's only weak to magical. They're super strong to physical. Um, I have him attack twice uh, because that's all he can do that's actually useful. Uh, it makes one less spell required to kill him. Uh, but other than that, he sits useless. Uh, so, he is super strong in the split uh, because of his kit. But right now, his kit is just weak. Uh, during the second half of the second split, he gets an AOP attack, which makes him slightly more useful. Uh, but right now, he is just, just bad. During the third split, his kit is super strong, and he actually does a lot, if not all of the work in the fights. Uh, but for now, he's just kind of there.
Uh, so Gib and Taiko, uh, they have some strong moves now, and they have strong moves to get the rest of the fight. Their rest of the game, rather. Uh, so, First Blood, which I've used a bunch of times, I haven't really explained. Uh, first Blood is an attack that is available to Gib, and it does more damage on the very first turn of the game. Or of the fight, sorry. Uh, he also has Brute Punch, which I've used. Uh, it does a lot of damage for 2 mana. He also has another one, which I'll show off right now, which is called Finish Up. Uh, also very strong. Uh, it does a lot of damage if the target is the last one there. Tycho, again, having a strong kit. Uh, he has an ability called Overkill, uh, which does more damage based on how much MP you have. So like I was saying, finish him is super strong, and so is Overkill. Overkill happens to have the bonus effect of being strong against this, but it's still or super effective against this, but it's still pretty strong. Uh, so I'm about to pick up an item here, which actually makes... Uh, it's actually part of the reason why the player character is super strong later on. He'd be less useful if I didn't have that item, and I will explain it a little bit. So this is the second half, uh, mostly the second half of the split. Uh, this is where the player character gets a little more useful. He gets his AoE ability called Break Whirlwind. Uh, it plays off the AoE ability, or the ability he had earlier, except this time he adds AoE damage. Uh, which is important because now instead of having to singularly add um, lead to every character, he gets to add it to everybody at once. I did the wrong move there, that's fine. Fix this. Everybody gets bleed, which means they all take damage uh, every turn, which is significant. Yep, didn't hit B, I hit A. Rip, rip, Reno. Oh well. Uh, so the reason I buy something for Gabe instead of Tycho, I can't buy anything for. Uh, I cannot buy anything for the player character. You pick up all of his weapons. But the reason I pick up something for Gabe instead of picking up something for Tycho is that. Uh, Gabe's item significantly increases two stats, whereas Tycho's items minorly increase all of his stats. And I actually would prefer the massive uh, stat increase to the useful skill over the minor uh, increase to a bunch of other skills. Uh, because a lot of the skills are irrelevant in this run, uh, health, defense, all that jazz is just not useful. Uh, whereas the damage stats are super useful. So I have Gabe Yellow over Tycho. Uh, the player character, he starts off with a weak ish weapon. Uh, there is a, he has two weapons basically. I only get one of them. Uh, well, I guess besides this one. Uh, because the other one's out of the way. And that one's right. Uh, so we're getting close to the fights where the uh, player character is super useful. Uh, there's one more fight left in this, is the boss. And then we get on to the uh, fights where the player character is super strong. Start off with the menace bigger than the right well, So he starts off poisoned, he takes 300 damage. This adds 30 and something attack and 39 each turn subsequently. 
Uh, and then I just auto attack. Uh, so any long fights, specifically this one, uh, where Tycho can use uh, Menace Mix is useful. Unfortunately, this is actually the only long fight where it's useful because the next fight, uh, where something like this scenario arises, uh, Tycho is significantly weakened. So it's actually the only fight where I do something like this. Um, the other fight, I do have Menace Mix up, but I just have one. This fight is super important that I use Rick Orland second. Um, there have been some times when I uh, accidentally don't use Rick Orland, and it actually makes this take four attacks, and the enemy attacks so three, because the bleed damage is impressive. I just screwed it up. Yeah, I kinda just screwed it up. Uh, it's not super relevant. Uh, it kind of is. I did screw it up because I mashed too quickly. Uh, it'll waste about 10 seconds. I don't know why I had my characters. I should have had them right because the damage they were doing. I guess in my head I was deciding whether to just try and kill them. Oh, apparently I didn't pull auto like I should have. Rip. Uh, so I think I just wasted all the time I saved. Which means I, I'm gonna have to do another one. Uh, but besides that, I'm finish off this run as strong as I can. Uh, hopefully not screw up again. Uh, so sorry, I never explained why he was so strong. Uh, so... He's only particularly strong because of the item I picked up earlier, which is Talismans, which means he starts with 2 MP. Uh, so he has a super strong attack. So there, he has a rather weak attack, which is a AoE every turn uh, attack, which is pretty weak. But he also has a 2 mana attack, which um, immediately calls that and supercharges it, which is what you just saw there. Uh, the reason it's so strong is because it does a lot of damage, obviously. Uh, the only reason it's really effective is because of the talismans, because it would take too long to call them otherwise. Like that first fight you saw me screw which was really bad. Uh, combo is also the strong move, which is just kit, but that's not for this one, that's for the next one. Tycho's stats are significantly lowered, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have him mana speak at the beginning and then I'm gonna have him cast some weak auto attacks. Uh, basically, because the damage he actually does on his spells is uh, negligible. However, if I have him save up his mana, 
Uh, at the very end, I'll have him cast Overkill, which will do a significant amount of damage compared to uh, having him just attack over and over and over again. Yep. Oh, I almost used this attack, and I'm dumb and bad. 